I don't care who you are. If you're looking to induce night blindness, this is the round for you. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Gun Meister. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Rock Island TCM. So this gun, this is a 1911 chambered nine millimeter, but this also shoots the 22 TCM, which we'll get to in just a minute. Let me walk you around the gun, show you some of the features that this gun has that are pretty cool. First, let me say this. There are a lot of 1911s that are a lot more expensive than this, but for your money, this is a good buy. You have a fully adjustable trigger, ambidextrous safety. You got your checkered back strap, fully adjustable sight in the rear. This is adjustable for windage and elevation. Really nice fiber optic up front. Now, with this being a nine millimeter, you get 10 round mag with this. As far as the 1911s are concerned, I really, really like these guns. They feel really good in the hands. They're super fun to shoot. The only problem I have with them is they're kind of heavy and they have a low capacity. Now they have some that are made of different kinds of metals that lighten them up. They have double stacks, but really and truly, if you're going for a 1911, just get a 1911. There's a reason that nine out of 10 badasses prefer the 1911. Don't know what it is, but they do. Let me show you a little trick if you're buying a 1911, especially if you're not buying it new. You want to make sure that your firing pin and assembly is functioning properly. And the way to do that is you take a regular pencil, obviously make sure the gun is empty. Take a regular pencil, eraser tip down, put it down the barrel. And what you do, pull the hammer back and pull the trigger. If the pencil shoots out, that means that the firing pin assembly is working properly. With this one, we're good to go. Let me show you what comes with this gun. It comes with one mag. I actually have two mags. But this is the cool part. You get this barrel right here and you get this spring. Now this barrel is chambered in 22 TCM. And let me show you what the 22 TCM is. We're gonna start right here. This is a 22 TCM. It's made by Arms Core. And basically it's like this. This is a nine millimeter right here. And this is the 22 TCM. Now, if you look, the diameters of the casings are the same. So some people say the 22 TCM is a neck down nine millimeter. Other people say it's a cut down 223. So with that being said, this right here is the 22 TCM R. And then you see the difference. One of them's pointy and one of them's rounded because the bullet weight of this one is 39 grains. This one is 40. So there's not a whole lot of difference right there. So here's the three rounds, nine millimeter, TCM R, and TCM. Also, when you shoot this, there's very little recoil. But what you do get is a hell of a bang and a big flash. So if the bullet doesn't stop your assailant, the flash and the bang probably will stun them. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the review of the gun, test the accuracy, reliability, all that kind of stuff. But while we're doing that, let's do a comparative of the nine millimeter and the 22 TCM. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the nine millimeter. I've shot this gun quite a bit. I know it's accurate, I know it's reliable. I've got 10 nine millimeter rounds loaded up in here. Let's just go ahead and put them on target so you guys can kind of see how it functions. And then we'll try it with the TCM and see if there's any difference. That was with the nine millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to 22 TCM and we'll try it again and kind of see the difference if there is any. So to change this over to shoot the 22 TCM, it's pretty simple. It's just a filled strip. Put the new barrel, put the new spring in there. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is the nine millimeter barrel. You can see there's a difference in them. See this one's kind of skinnier and fluted at the end. Obviously smaller, but the backside is pretty much the same. I got this magazine loaded up with nine rounds of the TCMR. It's a little shorter, but trust me, it packs a punch. stuff is incredible the percussion from it the sound i mean i've got earplugs in guys and my ears are ringing like crazy this is good stuff right here i don't care who you are if you're looking to induce night blindness this is the round for you come on let's try some more stuff i'm not saying that the 22 tcm hits harder than the nine millimeter but it's going to be awfully close so we're going to do a penetration test i've got 10 water jugs set up right here we're going to shoot it with a nine millimeter see how many it goes through then we're going to load up with the 20 the 22 tcm 
and do it again and see how many of that goes through. I think that'll show us a little bit about penetration. Let's do it. Got a good hit. Let's see how we did. This was the first one right in, right out. This is the second one. You can see it went in there. It went out right there. We have the third one in right here, out right there. This one here, it started to go to the side. You see that right there? In and out. And then this one, skim this one and nicked it off. All right, so that nine millimeter took care of five water jugs, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and load it up with the 22 TCM. Try it again, let's see which one does better. So this is the 22 TCM. Let's see what this guy does. Here we go. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Keep in mind that's a much smaller round and it's going a lot faster. Look at the first one it hit. I mean, the hydraulic pressure from that thing just burst this open. And there's a little tiny piece of it in here. So, as that was entering, this thing started to come apart. That's nasty. So there's one. Okay, so, went in here and looked like it tried to come through right there. This one has a little tiny divot but if you look in the bottom of this one, it's in there. Let's get it. There it is. It's got a lot of little segments where it kind of fragmented and came apart. But there it is, the 22 TCM. As although the 9mm penetrates a lot more, the 22 TCM seems like as soon as it hits, it dumps the energy immediately, which makes it a pretty great uh, self-defense round because you're not going to have to deal with the over-penetration. So let's go ahead and spice it up with some FSU tests. Let's do it. So we've got Pico and Paco set up for the FSU test. We call this the FSU Apoyo Loco. Let's see what we can do. Pico, no more. Paco, he's still there. We gotta deal with him. This is awesome. This is my cameraman. He's uh, chicken fied. Yeah, chicken fied. <laughs> All right, moving along. <laughs> so we got the uh, Gunmeister reactive target set up here in a little shooting range. Let's see what we can do. Very nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. So we got one more FSU test, and uh, we hate TVs here on the Gunmeister. Apparently, we've got one down here. It's semi on fire, smoking. We've got to deal with it. Happens every time. Guys, we've got chicken entrails. We've got pieces of appliances. We've got just total carnage here today. Very nice. 
But that's going to do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you guys next time on the Gunmeister. Probably going to need to pick up a fire extinguisher too. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well, next time something's flying at you, you gotta get out of the way. <laughs>